Hey, this is Dr. T and welcome to my desktop. Uh, this is a bit of a review and quick start guide for Kim Collective uh, Virtual Labs. So I'm just going to pull one up and then uh, start talking about kind of, you know, my first thoughts. Um, now let's go for a simple one just to make life easier. Uh, let's go for this one. Okay. It is HTML5, uh, so that I do like. Looks like it used to be an old Java version, and that's actually going to go to quite a few of the quirks that I found that, to me, made things a little bit more difficult. Okay, so right off the bat, you've got uh, your stock room. You can grab your stuff. Now, you would think um, you would click and drag, but you don't click and drag. You just click, and it appears. Now, the consequence, of course, is that you don't draw back. Uh, this is probably the older nature of this thing. Uh, modern ones usually optimized for smartphone. I don't know if you could use this on a smartphone, honestly, uh, or tablet. Uh, so you click, drag, etc. You can't drag it back. You click it to get there. Now the right-click menu is going to be big. Now, okay, the balance is just removed. So to get rid of something, you have to right-click or whatever the Mac users use. I think it's like Control-click or something. Okay, so let's actually kind of set up this guy. Um, why did I get rid of that? I need to get, keep that. Uh, also need a Bunsen burner. I do think you can max out how many things you have on your desktop, which um, that's annoying. Okay, so I'm going to grab myself a beaker. You get a lot of choices for things, um, which, okay, I mean, that's good. And then I'm going to get some water out. Okay, so I'm going to take some water. I'm going to put that in there. To do that, I'm going to click, I'm going to drag, I'm going to drop over this. Honestly, this one took me, I, I just had to go ahead and click the introductory support um, to figure this out, which if I had paid for this, I would not be happy. <laughs> but, you know, it's free, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, okay, so this now sets it over, so now I can do this. Okay, I shouldn't hit buttons, but I can type in a number. This is actually nice, um, so I can just say, okay, 150. Actually, what am I doing? In this lab, I need to tear this thing first. So I put that on here, the balance. I can actually tear the balance. Yay. So, okay, so that's the way the beaker. Now I'm going to put the thing on. See how it's just a little bit buggy? Okay, so I'll put, you know, 150 milliliters in there. So I just type in 150. I can do things where I can just, like, hold a pour. I'm glad I don't have to. Some of the newer systems make you do that, and that's just obnoxious. Um, there's a certain uncanny valley, you know, obviously in the lab you would actually pour this into there, you'd open the little there. You're not going to be able to simulate that online, so I like how they're not really trying to. Um, this is going to speed things up, and we don't need to simulate the tedium. Um, some services just do that, that's annoying. Now, once again, I can't just make that go away by doing that. I have to right-click, I have to remove. This one, uh, since I'm doing calorimetry, I want to, now nicely, I've got my temperature over here. So, okay, yay, I don't have to grab a stupid thermometer and stick it in there. It just tells me my temperature. But I do need to turn this into a calorimeter. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go thermal properties. I'm going to hit the check mark. And here's one that I keep missing. You have to hit OK. Otherwise, it doesn't stick. If you just hit the check mark and close it, it goes away. Uh, which, once again, gives it a feel from the late thousands, early uh, 20 teens. Um, more modern feel, uh, you would just click that. Once again, this is an older feel, and I think that's going to throw a few students for a bit of a loop. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put that on my balance. This is something I'd want to write down. Um, okay, they're assuming water has a mass of one gram per milliliter. To be blunt, it would not. Also, I wouldn't be able to put this big of a balance on a uh, you know, thing on a balance. Okay, so now I can do that. Um, really, this number should be less than 150. So that is a little bit of a complaint. So I'm going to stick this on my Bunsen burner. Once again, I'm going to drag and drop it. Um, Bunsen burners do produce a ridiculous amount of heat, so it should be going up fairly quickly. Uh, I take that off. Okay, yay. Uh, so I can do that. So now I can heat that up. It's not going to cool off because I checked that box. If I don't, they actually do have it cool off into the environment. I have mixed views on whether or not that's a great feature or not. It probably is. Okay, I can go back to my stock room. I can grab my solution, stock room, solutions, grab my compound A. Oh, I've already got two of them, that's why. Uh, compound A, and I can click it over there to drop it. Now, if I do there, notice how I'm putting compound A in the beaker. If I do it like that, I'm putting the beaker in compound A. So the thing on top goes in. Um, okay, I like that. It makes sense. It's it's fairly intuitive once you get it, but getting to the point, there's a bit of a learning curve. 
that once again, this feels like it's an older system. Uh, it's not using quite the modern heuristics uh, that we would normally expect to use in a um, uh, app of some sort, but that's probably just because it is ported from a Java version, which of course it's HTML5, so you can at least run it. Java is basically dead. Uh, so overall, uh, you know, it, it's, I don't like online labs to start with. Um, I think the in-person is much better, but right now that's not exactly an option. Um, so of the online labs I've seen this, I think is straightforward enough. It experiences the lab enough, but it doesn't try and turn it into a video game. It doesn't try and get all fancy smancy and therefore getting into the uncanny valley. Uh, obviously, if you had a perfect VR, you could do that, but um, I think a lot of the, the current producers are getting really uncanny valley, uh, and it's just like you're simulating the tedium, not the actual experience. So it's like, good work, but that wasn't the goal. Uh, so with that said, um, if you're first time using this, uh, hopefully I covered the problems you're going to have. Obviously, I'm not you, so I don't know what problems you'll have, but those are the problems I had with this. Um, obviously, I've only used it a little bit. Um, and if you're thinking about using it, um, I mean, it beats nothing uh, of what I've seen. It could be a lot worse, uh, honestly. It's definitely usable, uh, so I'm happy about that. Uh, so with that said, um, have a wonderful day.